So after we make sure that alpha is luminance is activated, the next thing we need to do is we have to add an expression to the alpha offset. And let me first explain why we need to make that expression. I'm going to go back to ZBrush here. And if you recall, when we created the displacement map, under the displacement options, I set this mid value to 0.5. So as I said before, that means that grayscale values of 0.5 or 50% gray, however you want to look at it, is going to be no displacement. Values that are higher or lighter or whiter than that value are going to push this geometry outwards. And values uh, between 0.5 and 0, you know, darker colors or black are going to push the um, geometry inwards from the displacement map. So Maya, of course, has a different system, and in their system, uh, a value of zero is no displacement. Values above zero are lighter, considered lighter, and push the geometry outward. Values below zero, or negative values, push the geometry inward. Since we created our displacement map with that baseline level being at 0.5, or that gray color, we need to add a little um, expression that will edit the alpha offset of the um, of the image so to compensate for this so that instead of being positive values between 0 and 0.5 we'll actually have negative values in any case that's the point of the expression the expression itself is quite simple so the expression needs the name of this node this texture node so the name of this texture node is brain coral underscore dm so I'm going to highlight that in this field and press control C or command C on the Mac to copy that text. That'll make writing the expression a little bit easier. So I'm going to highlight off of offset and type equals. This lets Maya know that I'm about to add an expression. And I'm going to type minus 0.5 times and I'm going to press command V or control V to paste in the name of the node which is brain coral underscore DM. And then I'm going to type dot alpha gain and press the semicolon button and hit enter that adds the expression so this expression multiplies minus 0.5 times the alpha gain and this value is then used for the alpha offset you can see the alpha offset is being automatically adjusted at the same time so that's the point of the expression and this is essentially a simple way using basic arithmetic to um, convert the ZBrush style of um, grayscale displacement map into uh, a displacement map that Maya or Mental Ray prefers. <clears throat> Once you do it a few times, it's not that complicated. At first, it seems a little bit weird. So, what do these values mean, anyways? Well, you can think of alpha gain as being the, the amount of displacement outwards, and the alpha offset, and the alpha offset as the displacement inwards. So it has this negative value because that's what Maya prefers. So what do we put for this value? Um, well, if you remember, I was talking about the name of the file that we exported uh, from ZBrush. So if I go back and look at the file that was exported from ZBrush, it's called brain coral underscore 14 hyphen DM. And this number in parentheses is the one I'm concerned with. This um, 0 0.4. 402194. So I just need to take that value and use it for alpha gain. So let me see, it is 0 0.402194. And by using this value, what should occur is we should get a displacement that looks a lot like the highest subdivision level does in ZBrush. So alpha is luminance is turned on. I've got my expression for my alpha offset here, and then I've set the alpha gain to the value that ZBrush provided. Um, a couple other things I need to do in order for this to displace correctly. Um, I need to select both of these guys, and I'm going to add what's known as an approximation node. And this is essentially a mental ray's way of saying a subdivision node. So what this means is that by adding this node, when mental ray renders the scene, it's going to subdivide the uh, geometry of these objects at render time so that uh, we have more geometry and it displaces much nicer. We have uh, no ar fewer artifacts. Essentially, we have actually literally more geometry at render time um, for the purpose of displacement.
So uh, to do this, I'm going to go to Windows, Rendering Editors, Mental Ray, Approximation Editor. And with the two objects selected, I'm going to go to the subdivision settings here, not displacement, but subdivision. And I'm going to press the Create button, which creates a new approximation node. So I'll hit Create. The approximation node is now visible in the Attribute Editor. I'm going to rename this. So I'm just going to call this new coral approx. That way I know it's an approximation node. The reason I named these is that within a Maya scene, we'll have several, um, you know, every time you create an approximation node, it becomes part of the scene, so it's available in this list. And if you name your nodes correctly, or it's in a way that's, that's clear to understand, it'll be easier to find the right approximation node when you need to edit it using the editor. So good idea to name this right away. The number of subdivisions, I'm going to leave it two for right now, and I'm going to leave the approximation method at parametric. Essentially, this is kind of like setting the ZBrush model to subdivision level two. If I need, if I decide when I render it and I take a look at the displacement, if, it, if I decide I need more detail, I can always increase this value. Or uh, if it feels like the render is taking too long, I can decrease the value and hopefully that won't lose too much detail and it'll render a little bit quicker. So this is something you can adjust when, when trying to figure out uh, your ideal render time. So, um, okay, so let's take a look at this. I'm going to render it and let's see how it looks so far.